If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to answer this question on your own before listening on. We can see that the question states that there are two numbers and that they differ by five. Now we don't know either of those numbers, so perhaps we can let one number equal x and then the other number equal y. And since they differ by five, we can set up the equation x minus y is equal to five. We are also told that their product is 336. And of course, the product indicates multiplication. So we can say that x multiplied by y is equal to 336. Now we have two equations with two unknowns. And one of the best ways to solve for the unknowns is to use the technique of substitution. And to use that technique, what we can do is select either equation and solve for one of the variables. Let's pick the first equation and let's solve it for x. Now to solve that equation for x, we would have to add y to both sides. And then we can see that x is equal to 5 plus y. Once we have isolated the variable x, we can take that expression for x and plug it into the x of the second equation. So let's go ahead and do that. So here we have substituted in 5 plus y for the variable x. And to solve for y, we're going to have to distribute this y into both terms of the brackets. And when we do that, we have y multiplied by 5 to make 5y. And then y times y, of course, is y squared. Now we have a quadratic equation because we have the variable squared. To solve a quadratic equation, we have to set that equation equal to 0. So let's go ahead and subtract 336 from both sides of this equation. That's going to give us y squared plus 5y minus 336 is equal to 0. Now to solve from here, we could use something called the quadratic formula or we could try to factor this expression. And it turns out that this expression does indeed factor. When factoring this ex expression, we want to make sure that we choose two numbers that add to make positive 5, but simultaneously multiply to make negative 336. So you might want to pause the video here and try to come up with two numbers that add to positive 5, but also multiply to make negative 336. And after thinking about that for a while, you should be able to determine that positive 21 and negative 16 are going to be the two numbers that work because when you add these together, you do indeed get positive 5. But when you multiply them together, you do indeed get negative 336. So we're going to be using positive 21 and negative 16 in our factorization. Now when we factor, we write two sets of parentheses. We have the variable present first, and then we have the positive 21 or the negative 16. And so this would be the correct way to factor it. Then what we use is the property that allows us to set each individual factor equal to 0. And then we'll go ahead and solve these equations separately from one another. And when we do that, we would subtract 21, and we would see that y is equal to negative 21. And then when we add 16, we could see that y is equal to positive 16. Now, we recall that the product of x and y is 336. So if we took the y of negative 21 and plugged it in, we could solve for x by dividing both sides of the equation by negative 21. When we do that, we would see that x is equal to negative 16. So we can associate x equals negative 16 when y is equal to negative 21. So that's one set of solutions right there. But we can also plug six, positive 16 in for y back into this equation. So if we do that and then divide both sides of the equation by 16, we can see that x would be equal to positive 21. And so we have a second set of answers. Finally, we are ready to answer the question. The question wants the sum of the two numbers. Well, if we choose the first set of numbers, we would have negative 16 plus negative 21 and that would give us negative 37. So that would be one possible answer. And then the other set of solutions would yield 21 plus 16, which is positive 37. So actually, either one of these two answers would work. 